Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. We have a Gatekeeper built 2X2879 amplifier here with a uh, with a preamp and a very very clean little build. And uh, for for a fella out there that's going to be using it out there in the woods when he's hunting, so. Uh, Gonna have him a little bit of bird watts out there to talk to his other hunting buddies. <laughs> but uh got a pretty big fan on top there. Uh honestly didn't have any ninety two millimeter thin ones to put in there and I asked the fella if, if he didn't mind having a big old massive fan on top and he says, Shoot, I don't mind send that cat and pick her on. <laughs> well that fan's gonna keep them transistors good and cool, man. No doubt about it. All right, we're going to be hitting it with a Striker 440 HP. Okay, so we're going to give it we're going to give it some decent drive. We're going to be giving it about 20 bird or so, about 60 PEP. All right, go ahead and show you what it's going to be doing on the PEP end of things. All righty. No, that's about 542 watts. I take let you take a look at the input tune. Got 10 watt slug in reverse. No, all right. So that's about 528 or so. 528 to 550 or so, right there. All right, I'm going to let you go ahead and see it on the old bird meter here. All right, right here on the bird meter, we got a 1,000-watt slug. Let's see if I can get that zoomed in there. All righty. Come on now. Now we got a 1,000-watt slug. So the 100 is 1,000. 40 is 400, 220 is 200. Alrighty. Got some dang feedback there. I'm going to turn this. Turn this top back off a little bit. I ain't use this radio much, y'all. A little bit close to the radio with the mic over here. Alrighty. Do yeah. So that's right there, right at 200 bird. Do yeah. All right, let you see the voltage drop. We're on the 100 amp supply on the medium tap. Do. So that's about 15, 15, 5. So that's doing pretty good, man. You're hitting it with about uh, 60 uh, PEP, about 20 bird. I'll show you the radio here in just a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All righty, buddy. So that's right there, about 180, peaking 200 on the bird. And uh, we'll go ahead and flip this off. And show you on the PEP meter here what the radio is doing. Oh, yeah. All righty. A uh, thousand watt slow, you don't be able to tell much, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, buddy. Well, there you go, man. We'll go ahead and uh, pop the top off this thing here. I'm going to turn everything off. Time for lunch, man. Shoot, man. Hit that for 60 watts PEP. About 20 bird. 200 bird. That's good, man. That's good, dude. Run this thing on 16 and a half volts, dude. Hit it, hit, hit it with about 30 bird or so, man. This thing will be doing 250 plus. No doubt about it, big brother. All right, let's go ahead and... Take this screw off, let y'all take a quick peek inside before we stop this video. Alrighty. 
Real neat build, man. Did a couple of things different. I even uh, built the Transformers too myself. That's something I've been playing around with here lately. So you can see the Transformers kind of, you can tell they're kind of not from RF parts or ICA. The gatekeeper constructed them with his bare hands. <laughs> you know, it's all about trying to trying to do more stuff yourself. You know, change. You know, save save a little bit of cash there. You know, the more more cash you can save, the more you can spend it on other parts, man, and build more cool amps and you know, bring some cool uh, cool stuff for people, man. That's what it's all about, dude. Keeping the hobby going. Keeping people blessed, keeping people doing bird watts, <laughs> and dropping the hammer. So yeah, man, this is a really neat, real cool little clean build. You got a preamp there on the left. So there you go, man, a little gatekeeper two pill. Got some padding on the input here, man. Just to, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a uh, into input attenuating padding type of guy <laughs> i don't like the rf to be just jammed straight into the circuit man i like a little bit of input padding done man so pretty much you got about 18 i don't we got there not 12 we got 12 ohms of resistance pretty much at all times so that'd be like if there was a variable installed you know it cut back just a little you know just a little so uh just good to give a little bit of get a little bit of padding on the input man Got this thing tuned out to perfection for you, man. This thing's uh, on and popping, man. Ready to go. Ready to bring, a, hopefully, man, many, many, many years of good usage, man. Good, nice, little clean uh, two-pill. Be honest with you, man. It's my first two-pill I've done with an inch-and-a-half transformer. Like it, man. I'm going to keep doing them like that, brother. I've, uh, you know, tried a couple different variations, you know, here and there, man. Just uh, not too long ago started using the inch-and-a-halves. And uh, really big fan of them. Really big fan of them. I like 5.8 Core too, man. You know, I like it all, man. You know what I'm saying? I like it all. It's just all about experimenting, you know, going with what works best for you. That's what it's all about. You know, we're all, all of us builders are pretty much just trying to do the same thing, man. That's make watts and, you know, have people enjoy your work and make good quality amplifiers at last. That's what it's all about. All righty, we'll go ahead and say God bless, 73s. I'm headed to Subway, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I'm headed to Subway on this cat picking in. Y'all have a good one. God bless.